I've been asked by the uh, Alliance to do my best uh, on a best effort basis, which is something we're all familiar with, to sum up what it is that we've been hearing today. And uh, bear with me, I haven't been at uh, both streams. Uh, I haven't learned the technique for that kind of multitasking yet, as my wife will readily tell you. Um, but I was having a chat with uh, Professor Jens Booker earlier, and one of the things that I wanted to do was try and draw a few strands together of the things that we've heard during today's sessions that may be what our American colleagues would call takeaways. Really, um, the pithy points that have been made by some of our esteemed colleagues. Um, I think the, the thing that keeps coming across to me, and it's, again, there's a really uh, good phrase that our American cousins have, that is the elephant in the room. And by that they mean the unspoken element that is present in every conversation. It's come to the fore in our discussions about customer experience. But before, it was a little bit of a sort of background element. And that is, of course, the customer, the public. And making sure that the public are informed about what it is that we, as an industry, do. We all know within this room what is meant by M2M and IoT. We have a pretty clear idea, though our definitions may vary as to where the dividing line uh, if there needs to be a dividing line, is between M to M and IoT. I don't want to get hung up on definitions. What I do want to do is take from this morning and this afternoon something that came across to me, which is an, uh, the need for us as an industry to look outwards. We're very good at doing this kind of discussion and making sure that we improve our processes. But speaking as an interested observer, I don't have your day-by-day -day contact with your customers. I have to talk to each of you individually to find out what it is. But the thing that came over to me from today's discussions was that there is a need for us to involve the public. And if the public understand the Internet of Things better than they do today, then we all of us stand to benefit hugely. So M2M or IoT, is, it's an intelligent interface. Uh, as was said this morning, it's an enabler of transformation. And we've heard a heck of a lot today, both directly, overtly, about transformation of businesses. But we only need to see the uh, presentation by class about the farming community or to talk earlier or listen earlier to uh, the talk given by Deutsche Telekom and Canyon Bicycles about uh, how they are changing as providers of services. There are transformations going on in every industry vertical, and we must be alert to that and what it means to us because our customers are changing and therefore, their communications with their customers are changing. Dr. Lautz of um, Deutsche Telekom spoke very uh, keenly this morning about the success factors that are influencing M to M. And he pinpointed five. He talked about simplicity. He was talking about the need for simplicity in delivering good services. That was Deutsche Telekom's goal. Jürgen Hasser made the point very well just now. He referred back to security. Security for users. It's not just one of those nice-to-haves. It's a key element that we must not lose sight of, particularly as we move from a B2B, a business-to-business -business environment, to a B2B-to-C, business-to-business-to-consumer. The consumers will count on this security. They don't expect anything less. The user experience, we've had a, an eloquent discussion by three really informed individuals about user experience and how to improve it. Make it easy to order, make it easy to change services, make it easy to complain, make it easy to rectify situations, and then you will have a happy, customer who will have no intention of churning. Communication of the benefits. 
was another point that Dr. Lautz talked about. And it harps back to what we were talking about a moment ago in public information, keeping the public informed, not as the telecoms industry has traditionally done about technology or three-letter acronyms. We've all heard so much about 2G, 3G, 4G, LTE, WAP. There were so many ways in which the telecoms industry didn't learn about how to reach to out to customers when what it should have been doing was describing to people about benefits, the benefits that were going to change their daily lives. And I just bring you back to that fantastic demonstration of a bicycle that could possibly save your life. You know, if you have an accident and you're mountain biking and you're equipped with e-call, it's not too much of a stretch to say your safety, possibly even your life, could be saved by an e-call equipped bicycle. That may not be your choice. You may be very happy with a, a dumb and insular bike, just as I have, but it is an option. So talk in terms of benefits. And his last point was about partnering to offer comprehensive solutions. And by that, I took it to mean working end to end. And we saw, again, discussion in the panel just now about the need for end to end communications across the partnership, across the ecosystem in which you work. I was really struck also by another aspect of the same discussion, the technology transfer. We've seen in eCall, uh, a really important service that is being rolled out globally in various different uh, markets at different speeds. But now to see it being developed and enhanced and translated into uh, the cycling community opens up a whole new possibility, as it does for the less um, dramatic elements of that connected service, the um, service element of your bicycle or the tracking of the rider and the bike. These are elements that translate a product service or a product business into a service-led business. I, I wanted also to talk about the regulation and Matt Hatton, who is still here, was talking very informally about the importance of a clear framework for everyone in M2M, especially for numbering, for roaming, for data management. As he said, it's a way of achieving standardization, but regulation is always going to be a little behind a market that is moving as fast and dynamically as this one. Uh, I also wanted to draw attention to a point that was made this afternoon about the need to consider the whole value chain. This isn't just B2B anymore, as we've said. It's about B to B to C. So all partners need to be involved, and there are components uh, in, in decisions from components right the way through to end users of the final product. The challenges remaining to us as an industry were po pointed out by Professor Dr. Nico Grove uh, of Munich University. He talked about the need for industrial policy and he uh, alluded to the need for funding to support innovation. It's not always popular in government circles, but it's always an important element for the industry. Technology, he pointed out, was there was a need for security and for reliable standards and interoperability. And days like today do a great deal to bring that a little bit closer. Data security, again referred to by Jürgen Hase as, as it was by uh, Nico Grove. It's important for user protection and for usage rights. And he talked lastly about competency. This is about interconnecting both hardware and software with intelligent networks. And finally, I just want to bring you back to the need to reflect on the way that your customers, businesses, and probably your businesses are being transformed. These are frequently now 
where they were once product businesses, they are now service businesses. And if we forget that or lose sight of it in terms of the delivery of our next stage of services to them, we will be doing them and ourselves a disservice. So, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my rough and ready guide to today's discussions. I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have. I thank you very much for your attention, and I look forward to meeting each of you individually as we uh, join together for a networking uh, event at the Rheinterrasse Dusseldorf. Uh, buses will be leaving at uh, six o'clock in half an hour, which gives you plenty of time to uh, network if you wish, to get some coffee and get refreshments, and to uh, find your way down to the uh, awaiting buses. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. <laughs>